Hi everyone, Dr. Hao here. Today I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step procedures of how to verify the route of liver meridian in the leg. Let's get started. In the last video, I have talked about the best case of verifying the route of liver meridian in the leg, and the best case is a sciatica with the pain shooting down to the side of the leg. Why? Because the pain is on the gallbladder meridian, and the gallbladder meridian and liver meridian, they are interiorly, exteriorly related channels. I also gave you a hint of using low connecting point. Why? Because in acupuncture, a low connecting point is not only the gateway between interiorly and exteriorly related meridians, but also treat the symptoms of both of them if you puncture the low connecting point in the right way. And this is why I suggested you to use a sciatica with the pain shooting down to the side of the leg and the lower connecting point to start with. Let me show you more. The interiorly exteriorly related meridians are like these two containers with a valve in it. When we have more water in one container, and what would happen if you turn the valve on? Well, they reach the new balance, but that is not good enough. If you keep removing water from the other container in the right way, they will eventually go back to where it was before. I believe you know what I'm trying to say here now. If you have pain on one meridian, let's say an excess pain on gallbladder meridian, and you puncture the low connecting point on liver meridian in the right way, the pain will disappear. And what's the right way I'm talking about here? It is the reducing method on low connecting points. Okay, but you need to find the point first, so let me show you how. Again, this is the cross section of the leg in the midsection. section. You already knew the medial border of the tibia and the gastrocnemius muscle. And there are two very important landmarks or muscles you have to understand. The first one is the flexor hallucis longus, or FHL, and the other one is the soleus muscle. This is to show you the three calf muscles in the leg. The first layer is the gastrocnemius muscle. The function of it is to flex down your ankle, and the second one, second layer, is the soleus muscle. Again, one of its function is to flex down your ankle. And this is the third layer of the muscle, which is the flexor hallucis longus, FHL. And one of its functions is to flex down your big toe. The reason I'm telling you this is because you need to move your ankle and roll your big toe in order to make those muscles more prominent or palpable for your point location. Okay, this is to show you the step-by-step -step procedures of how to find those points but my suggestion to you is to watch this video all the way to the end before you put needles in. So the step one is to use your own way, okay, your own way to find liver 5 on traditional liver meridian. But make sure you find that liver meridian immediately posterior to the medial border of the tibia. Then the second step is to find the potom's points. First of all, you find a reference point in between the medial border of the tibia and the soleus muscle. Then you slide down along the medial border of the tibia to another depression in between the FHL muscle and the medial border of the tibia. Then use this level as a reference, go backward to another depression in between the FHL muscle and the soleus muscle. Then go back to the first reference point and use that level and go backward to find another depression underneath the soleus muscle on the posterior border of the FHL muscle. So let's take a look. The light green dots is where the traditional liver meridian is at, which is at the posterior border, immediately posterior to the medial border of the tibia. And the dark green dots are pontum spots that we will be using later on to verify the route of liver meridian in the leg. Here is to show you how to find those three calf muscles in the human body, okay? And this is the tibia. And here is the anterior border of the tibia. And this is the posterior border. Let's take a look again anterior border, and posterior border. Now try to flex down your ankle or stand up with your toes to make those muscles more prominent. And here's the junction between the soleus muscle and the gastrocnemius. And here is the junction of the soleus muscle and FHL, and right in between, that's the soleus muscle. To find FHL muscles, put your finger next to the medial border of the tibia, flex down your ankle, and move your toes up and down. You will be able to feel the muscle contraction, and that's the FHL muscle. Now you know where those three muscles are and how to find them. The next step is for you to find the points. First of all, find your liver 5 in your way on the traditional liver meridian. 
For two of the bottom's points, again you have to slide down along the medial border of the tibia to find the reference point 1 and the reference point 2, then move backward to another depression between the FHL and soleus muscle. Now go back to reference point 1 and move backward to find the point underneath the soleus muscle and posterior border of the FHL muscle. Let me show you again. Reference 1, reference 2, go back to a depression between FHL and soleus muscle. Those are the two points on what we call new liver meridian for you to test the route of the liver meridian. Now let's summarize it. The step one is to find the liver 5 in your way on the traditional liver meridian and you puncture that point with reducing method for one minute. The step two is to use one of the palms points, which is the dark green one at the bottom, and you puncture that point with reducing method for one minute. Then you compare two of the different methods and see which one works better to reduce the pain on the side of the leg, which is the gallbladder meridian. Now here's the bonus. Now go back to the palms four, which is the dark green points on the top, which is the point I said that is underneath the soleus muscle and the posterior border of the FHO muscle. You puncture the point with reducing method for another one minute and see what's going to happen. And I would recommend you to use the reducing method by tilting the needling angle against the meridian flow. That means your needle tips towards the ankle. Everybody's different. So make sure you find those three calf muscles and point locations before putting needles so you don't get confused by not getting results. Like I said before, all the acupuncture points used in ponums were found by testing how much pain reduction it has. And we use those points with at least 70% instant pain relief. Then we find their anatomical landmarks and come up with the mathematical algorithms of point combinations to treat intractable pain and numbness. So overall, the correct liver meridian, the parents-children relationship, six-element model, and the new five-element model are the keys to treat intractable pain and numbness. Put your questions below and let me know what your tested results will be. I'm Dr. Howe, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. If you find the ideas interesting in this video, please subscribe and share and get it way out there.